Hi everyone, today our group want to present about body harness. Our group member is Hazli, Nazirul, and Rushdi. What is body harness? Body harness is type of PPE that usually used during working at height to prevent person from falling. This is a picture of the body harness. For legal requirement is from Factory and Machinery Act 1968, Safety, Health and Welfare 1970 Regulation, Regulation 12 Working at Height, where any person is required to at a place from which he will be liable to fall a distance of more than 10 feet, means shall be provided to ensure his safety and such means shall where practicable include the use of safety belts or ropes. For body harness components, they are components at behind and component at front. The component at in front is shoulder strap, chest strap, lanyard, leg strap, and snap hooks. Meanwhile, at behind, it has dorsal D-ring. When we need to use it, firstly, climbing overhead line. Second, used for window cleaning at the high-rise building. Third, to climbing tower crane that used by operator. And fourth, or is used for scaffold erection in construction site. Usually used when erect the scaffold at the high level. Good safety harness and how to inspect. First, why need to be inspect? Okay. Because the pre-inspection must be done before using the identifying by inspection. Lanyard are safe to be used. Could save your life. So, which part that need to be inspected? Hmm. So, first thing is the webbing, buckle, D-ring, snap hook, and also the expired date for the safety harness and lanyard. So, first to inspect is the webbing. So, to check the webbing and make sure there are no damage or signs such as torn stitches, color changes on the stitches, and no root. So this part is for the buckle. There are two types of buckle, tongue buckle and also batting buckle. So inspect by visually and also physically. And remember, two special attention should be given to the attachment of the buckle. So for the snap hook, must be inspect closely for hook and eye distortion, cracks, corrosion or pitted surfaces. The keeper should be should be seat into the nose without binding and should not be distorted or obstructed. The keeper spring over here should exert sufficient force to firmly close the keeper and then the keeper lock must be prevent from opening when the keeper close. So for, for the last part is the expired date. So important to remember the expired date consists of the date, number series and also the manufacturer. So every safety harness and layout must have the information label. This label must be displayed the serial number, date of manufacture, and also the load of rating and also material composition. All this information can be traced back the certificate that was issued by the manufacturer. Then this certificate must be kept for the duration of the safety harness is in use. How to wear safety harness? Firstly, Hold the harness by the rear D-ring and shake it to allow the strip to fall into place. And then, place your arm through the shoulder strip ensuring the webbing remain untwisted. Next, ensuring the D-ring is in the middle of the back between the shoulder blades. Adjust shoulder strips so that the sharp pelvic strip sits under the buttocks. Then, Pull each tight strip through the leg and fasten the buckles. Adjust the tension or release the slack as necessary. Continue to connect the chest strip and adjust so that the shoulder strip are centered on each shoulder and tighten it. And lastly, once all strips are buckled, Tighten them so that the harness fit comfortably and does not pinch or restrict your movement. Okay, that's all. Uh, thank you.